Hello, YouTubers. So today, we're going to make a pork shoulder butt roast in a crock pot uh, on low for several hours. Um, so let's start. So I have a about a 10 pound uh, pork shoulder in here. It's about an eight and a half uh, uh, slow cooker quart. And it's already in, so fat upside. Okay. Just wanna make sure you use lots of pepper. At least I personally like it. And it's a grind. Get it all in, but well worth it. Same with some grounded salt, sea salt. Do that to taste, whatever it taste is for you. I have about half a medium sweet onion. Just my preference, you use whatever onion you would like. And we have some garlic, minced garlic. You can use whole garlic cloves, or if you don't have any of that, just uh, garlic powder. But I like lots of garlic. And I happen to have it, so let's use it. And then I like some teriyaki sauce. Not much, just a little bit to give it a little different type of flavor. And I like some type of citrus. Uh, I happen to have lime juice, uh, but if I didn't have that, I would use some maybe orange juice, a little splash. Not too much. And maybe a little bit more pepper because it is slow process grinding it and I like a fair amount. There we go. Okay, and from here, all we're gonna do is put enough water to cover it. And maybe a tiny bit more. Okay. So we're just gonna let this sit um, I'm guessing off the top of my head for about six hours, but the thing with slow cookers, I'm going to be home all day. I can check it whenever I need to, to see if it's done. And going to be using this particular pork for some tamales. Uh, but of course you can use it for tacos or pulled pork sandwiches or what have you. The, it's limitless options. So, all right, we'll check on this later. Okay, and checking back in after six hours on low plus an hour on high, um, just to kind of finish it up real quick. I've turned it back to low just as it simmers here. Let's take a look. There's a layer of fat here. But as we can see, falls off right away, nice and tender. And let's see if we can pop. Mm. Really good. So now you have your crock pot pork shoulder. Do with it whatever you want to make with it. I recommend you use some of this juice for any type of uh, cooking with rice or uh, quinoa or couscous. And it adds a ton of flavor, a ton of pork and onion flavor in this case. So there you have it. Hopefully this video helped you out, and if you like it, please like and subscribe.